Phil Lamone's musical leadership spans an extraordinary range of art and music in America. One of the unique moments was John F. Kennedy's birthday, at which Marilyn Monroe famously sang. Happy birthday. And so Phil Ramone has, at the beginning of his career, the credit that he was the recording engineer on that particular performance. Phil's a renaissance guy. He's somebody that has seen it all, done it all, but with style, with great success, and with great compassion and he's a guy that gives back. Here is one of the most powerful producers in music. And then he goes on to spend half of his life promoting the arts and mentoring things that he really didn't have to do. I think a significant thing that Phil has done for the industry is used his talent and his influence and his wonderful, charming manner to participate in events that have raised, if you add them all up, probably tens to hundreds of millions of dollars for arts organizations all over the country. He takes his passion, he takes his energy, his focus, his clout, and he's able to transfer it towards arts advocacy in a way that really does move mountains. He has never grown beyond his interest or willingness to sit and have a conversation with a teenage student who is interested in entering into the music industry. It is so important that those who have succeeded in our world, our industry, give back and use their energy to help the young people and help support the arts. It's not just a frill. It's really a cornerstone, the building block of a young person's development, education, and maturity. Phil Ramone would epitomize what an award of this nature would represent, and that is somebody that is vocal, active, passionate, compassionate, and there, whenever the call comes out, to speak to the importance of arts education and music education and the preservation of culture in this country.